Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Alpine Stars GP Force one piece leather suit. The GP Force is one of Alpine Stars entry level race suits and it offers tons of flexibility thanks to widespread use of abrasion resistant stretch panels. I've worn this suit for a couple of hundred miles on both the Suzuki GSX-R 1000R and also on a Suzuki Hayabusa and I found it very, very comfortable and lightweight. I could wear a very snug fit in size, which is the best way to ensure good protection and also to stop the leather flapping around in the wind flow, yet I could still be very comfortable. The main protective areas of this suit are made from cowhide and much of it is perforated to allow air to flow through. Those vented sections run down the front of the thighs they're also on the upper arms and then at the back of the rib cage. There's a double layer of leather at the seat, but there's also a leather accordion stretch panel just above it to allow you to bend into the racing crouch where you need to lean forward to get behind the screen. The other leather accordion stretch panels are at the knees and these are large ones to allow a good amount of flex and to keep the suit close fitting. Much of the give in this suit comes from the stretch fabric, which is an abrasion resistant textile that allows a lot of movement. This material covers large sections such as around the neck and the collarbones. It's also at the rear of the shoulders and down the inside of the arms from armpit to hip. It runs from the crotch down the inside of the thighs all the way to the ankle. Something else you don't see too much on suits like this, are the accordion stretch panels within the textile stretch panels. These are in the sections behind the shoulders and also at the back of the calves. Even a textile stretch fabric like this can only stretch so far, but adding in accordion stretch panels gives a lot more flex. Having it at the calves is useful because we all vary in our size quite a bit and it gives a lot more versatility to suit a wider range of people. The textile accordion stretch panel behind the shoulders is important because it gives some room for a Tech Air airbag to inflate for those riders who are wearing this suit with one of those. The Tech Air is Alpine Star's airbag system that's been developed in MotoGP to detect a crash and inflate tough cushions of air to protect your upper body. That costs an additional £650 for the Tech Air and it gives you the shirt with the airbag and the electronics which are then housed within a CE approved back protector. Elsewhere on the outside of this suit there are external shoulder protectors and there are replaceable knee sliders with the smoother side of the velcro on the suit itself rather than on the back of the slider. There's an aero hump behind the neck which is hollow and it adds very little weight to this suit which overall is very very light. The inside liner, it's mesh lined with one chest pocket to stash away some essentials. But if you go for the proper fit and it's really snug, don't expect to get too much room to put something in there. And a set of house keys could soon get pretty uncomfortable if they're tucked in there. Behind that mesh lining, there are pockets for Alpine Star's Nucleon chest protector inserts, which are available as optional extras. There's no back protector pocket with this suit, as this is the type of suit where people are more likely to wear a standalone back protector with its own straps to hold it in place. There's shoulder, elbow and knee armour included as standard. It's very soft, it's pliable and very comfortable armour that meets the basic level one of the CE protection standard. Overall, this suit has a double A rating in the CE standard, which is the middle of the three levels available. A one piece suit like this is compulsory if you're going racing and it's the best option for track days as there's no risk of a marshal saying the zip that connects the jacket to the jeans isn't long enough for their regulations. For road riding there are always practical considerations when going for a one piece like not having much in the way of pockets and it being a bit awkward for shall we say certain everyday activities. But there's nothing quite as comfortable on a sports bike as a one piece suit. And if you're the sort of rider who mostly does circular routes from home on a sports bike, then a one-piece suit is a really good option. As I said earlier, I've spent a couple hundred miles wearing this on both a full-on sports bike and the slightly more relaxed Hayabusa. Sports bikes demand a compact riding position and I found this suit perfect for that. It's very comfortable, very light and very flexible for getting into the right position. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the Alpine Stars GP Force one-piece suit. But if you have anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.